souls were glassed here. These shackles, logged and numbered. This place is important to him. So important, I'm starting to think he never left it. But you're an armor surgeon. These are issues of degree. Sometimes all that was needed was a little off the top. But it's the beheadings people remember. A society fails without both haircuts and hangings. Naughty Nora doesn't understand that. This guy seems to have developed a love-hit relationship with Nora. Oh, but one thing uh, that intrigues me is that uh, Nora says he might have killed all these people uh, sometime in the past, but uh, this guy is able to speak to us directly. So, uh, did we not tell her? Did we not give her this bit of information? Uh, or could it possibly have been some kind of recording but she did make the assumption that he is still alive let us see what will happen there should be easier ways to track down all these parts ok there is one here Okay, let us remember this structure, it seems a bit like a key, a weird key, a device for an interface and when the view these markings indicate an unusual connection signature. This would be how Cutter got Nihil's attention, woke him maybe. Either way, he got a lot more than he bargained for when he connected to this abandoned part of the weave. We all did. Yeah, continuing what I was uh, saying before, uh, we are finding these classed victims now. So that would mean that there is someone out there who is actually killing all these victims uh, in the present. So that means there is a killer active. Uh, but I guess uh, maybe we were confused about whether it was the original uh, killer, the original glass maker, or it was someone just following in his footsteps. So I guess Nora is leaning more towards uh, this being the work of the original glass maker, and uh, he's still alive and kicking and killing a lot of.
Orkin Laws. Legum. They had hundreds of these books. Easy to put a foot wrong when your masters change the rules as they please. Judging from their condition, I'd say when the Empire's end came, it was fast and violent. Someone saved these few. And they're all about glass. They were deranged children. Run amok. Centuries of progress destroyed. But they never destroyed me, never caught me, and our end only proved our correctness, that our laws had been just too late. But it's never too late, is it, Nora? Oh, glass shards, the shattered remnants of one once received Nihil's judgment. Okay, did this guy disintegrate? These were all people once. Did he Juma. escape? Reduced to examples. To keep the rest in line. Just like Nihil is set on doing now. What happens to me in all of these uh, evidence collecting episodes? I always find four uh, evidences pretty easily, but now the fifth one will always elude me for quite some time. Let us keep on searching. Uh, hopefully, we'll find it. Again, searching all these places and trying to search inch by inch. To see what I could have missed and where. weapon. Oh man, this looks so good. I hope they give this as a reward for completing this. Because once carried by Nihil's jailers, this weapon was likely never needed. There was no escaping Nihil's judgment. Justice never lived inside these walls. Only oppression. After all this time, from whatever hell he wound up in, 
The glassmaker still wants to keep a heavy boot planted on every face. Oh, please. The mob murdered the Empire. Since then, the Argent system has known nothing but conflict, chaos, and collapse. The human capacity for delusion truly is without limit. You ask why I exist? I give you this little mouthpiece for the collapse of civilization. 